This is uh, Lake Louise, um, the Banff uh, National Park, Alberta, Canada. It's totally beautiful. It's the Canadian Rockies, snow-top mountains and uh, pine trees uh, closer to the, uh, the lake. Lake's still uh, frozen over, it's uh, mid-May. That's the, uh, the Fairmont uh, Chateau Lake Louise Hotel. Yeah, it's still frozen over. This is a viewing parapet that they have. Lake Louise. I think that uh, Prince song, yeah? Could you be the most beautiful girl in this world comes to mind. So it's only right they called it Lake Louise. So we'll uh, go for a hotel tour, show around the place. Yeah, we'll go for a hotel tour, show around the place. My uh, top floor room with a lake view. So we're in Canada. Great place, great people. I just started, so there's uh, various uh, hiking trails you can go on around uh, the hills and uh, around this lake. This path uh, leads you to that. Lake Louise, Canadian Rockies. Yeah, it's mid-May, the water's just starting to, uh, turquoise water's just starting to break open from the, uh, the ice sheets. People go uh, skiing uh, during winter. Demonstration of my life. I'm going to uh, uh, stand on the snow firstly. Wow, shit! Oh, bloody hell! Ah. Better get up. Okay. Yeah, so the water is melting. I should have done that. That was not practiced. Alright, get back into the rocks. Steady ground. All right, never seen that before, yeah? That's the hole I fell into. And uh, second thing I'll do is to uh, throw some water on my head. Sitting at the lake's edge. Yeah, that was quite funny, actually. I'm gonna give up just because I fell in the snow once. Get some water. Put it on my head. Alright. I'm walking around. Yeah, so that's the place. Very much out of Lake Louise. So, uh, yeah, I was walk through the hotel, walk through the lobby, and uh, have a look around. They have a nice uh, Lakeview lounge with uh, an outdoor patio. They only open the patio when it's sunny. It's 25 Celsius, uh, and the lake's still frozen over. It's all right. Because in winter it gets to uh, like minus 20 Celsius. You get like one meter thickness of ice which the sun has to burn through. Yeah, I was walking to the lobby level. This is the patio lounge. Let's get to there and then uh, have another look at the lake. Okay. 
So we are walking to the hotel in a second. Let's be watching me. Yeah. Rocky Mountains and uh, Lake Louise. You got a better view from that in my room. I'm on the uh, top floor, eighth floor. Room is up there somewhere. It's one of those rooms. That's the lounge. Okay, so we're going to go down. My feet are drenched because of that. Uh, yeah, so it's shorts and t shirt weather. It's uh, shorts and t shirt weather because it's 25 Celsius, even though there's uh, uh, snow on the mountains. Okay, so that's the lift lobby. This is the Lakeview Lounge. Sitting outside in the patio, we all sit inside during winter and sit inside. There's various shops uh, to the left. The lobby is just through here on the left. Yeah, this is the Lady Lounge, the main restaurant bit. So uh, the main lobby is just through here. Got the uh, concierge's desk over there. That's all right, mate. Concierge's desk over there. <laughs> Got uh, a yeah. line of shops and uh, restaurants through there. Fairmount. Yeah, this is the uh, lobby. Check-ins just through there. Beautiful hotel. So all those, uh, there's two wings to the hotel. One is this wing that uh, I'm staying in, that's at the front, and then there's another wing that's being renovated, so uh, nobody's, actually, uh, nobody's actually staying in there. Um, so that's that wing, that's the other wing that's being renovated. You walk up to it and then uh, walk back in through the main entrance and go up to my room. It's a general store, my uh, toothpaste and uh, Shaving foam and stuff like that. Smart diary. Mountain sports. So you can go hiking on the mountains, you can go skiing, you can go glacier walking. And if you didn't come prepared or didn't know what was to expect, get gear in there. That's the outside the hotel. Well, if you had to stick uh, Parliament of Canada somewhere, you'd stick them here. Well, um, photography shops are always good. Photography shops are always good because uh, they nice photos of stuff uh, inside. It's a gift shop just there. Yeah, it's got some pretty decent photos in there different times of the year. So the one with the turquoise water. And there's a lot of grizzly bears that live around here, which is why they've got that uh, teddy bear. Um, yeah, teddy bear, eh? Apparently if you uh, go hiking and you see a, a bear, um, well, I mean, if you're surprised, it'll probably attack you. Generally bears don't attack people. But if they feel surprised or threatened, then they will. So if you go hiking, you're supposed to uh, talk loudly, maybe have your radio on with loud music so the bear hears you before you get there. And then uh, generally it runs away, because uh, not really interested. But most of them, I think they eat fish for uh, food. Anyway, so much about bears. And also you go in groups, not don't just go out by yourself. Okay, so this is the Fairmont Lake Louise Chateau. This is how you get into the hotel. Main entrance is just through there. So we'll uh, just walk up the main entrance. Uh, have a look at the lobby. I'll show you a great room. I had butterflies in my stomach when we were driving up here in the taxi earlier. Uh, I've seen so many photos of this place here. 
I know that Prince song. Um, it's like, holy shit, what am I doing here? Yeah, that's the other wing. So we're uh, just walking to the hotel and go to another high. Absolutely great place. Thank you. Superb. <laughs> Keep it that way for you. Yeah. This is the place. There's some spiel here about Hotel Azar. We know that you can pause it and uh, read in French or English, whichever is your chosen language. Just uh, go back into the lobby. Just uh, go upstairs so uh, get a decent view uh, of the lobby. Look at up these stairs. To the mezzanine floor. And uh, see the lobby from up there. Why not, eh, when you're on a hotel tour? You know, in the place you like. There's a huge chandelier in the middle. That's a uh, check in area. That's four o'clock in the afternoon. Seven hours uh, behind GMT. Now even though uh, we've walked up one floor and uh, I'm staying on the eighth floor there's various wings to the hotel so you have to uh, cut back to the right uh, wing to go up That's the lobby again <coughs> That's the concierge's desk There. Taking the uh, Rocky Mountaineer train tomorrow. So, uh, do I check out the times? It's very useful concierges when you're in a different country, you know what they're going on. Yeah, so let's see a Lakeview Lounge, main bit. Got the hotel gift shop here on the right with my postcards, um, t-shirts, stuff like that. Yeah, so next we'll go up to my room. What we do? Let's have a late Louise. Again. I'm seeing prints in the back of our heads. Call the shop there. It's a lot more Canadian souvenir stuff. All right. So let's uh, go upstairs. So then I'm on now level eight. It's the highest floor in the hotel. Seven is the Gold Club Fairmont. Give me a level eight. And actually booked the level eight room. Just uh, sweet talk with girl at check in. Got an upgrade. Yeah, Mother's Day. Alright. So we'll uh, walk out of the lift and uh... Okay, this is the other side. That's where we that's that wing that we uh, walked under on that semicircular arc. See the Canadian Rockies out there. There's nobody staying in that wing because they're renovating it. And it's uh Shorts and t-shirt weather, okay? Even though there is snow on the uh, mountaintops, the lake is frozen over, uh, but it's a warm sunny day uh, in the Canadian Rockies. All right, get my key card out. Go inside and have a look. Fairmont, 835, stick it in. And the green light comes on and we're in, boys. So, it's my room, 835 at the Chateau Lake Louise Fairmont. That's the bathroom, good day sports fan as always. Um, gear down there, bottle of Bacardi because I'm on holiday. And then you'll see the same Lake Louise so earlier.
Yeah, it's a room. All right. That is the view out of my hotel room. Beat that. This is the, uh, this is the wing to the hotel. I think we started our walk uh, somewhere down there. Um, that's where I fell into the snow. But I still see my foot marks. Water's melting. It's more dangerous than it looks. That's where I wash my hair with the water of Lake Louise. And that's the place. Fairmont Shed of Lake Louise. Lots of people out there. Going on their trails, doing their touristy stuff. This is uh, Canadian Rockies. Show this again, yeah? Look how thick the snow is. That's why it takes the ice so long to melt. Look at that, it's about 10 meters thick there, yeah? Bit of an avalanche risk, but uh, it explains why the sun is out and the lake is frozen over. Winter it gets like minus 20 Celsius. Just gonna watch this all day. See what uh, people get up to in winter. Still see the marks. Uh, ice skating. But the turquoise waters are starting to show through there. And see how uh, the ice is breaking up. I don't think it's safe to, uh, like you saw what happened to me earlier, yeah? It's one thing to fall in the snow, it's another thing to go ice skating and fall into a, a lake and drown in freezing water without a helicopter attached to you by rope. Yeah, so this is a room. Uh, you pay about, uh, about 500 US dollars to stay here. Plus the bird at check-in that uh, perhaps uh, made it a bit easier. And we'll just look at uh, Lake Louise again. One last time. It's a must do, yeah? I mean, if you come to Canada and you don't come and see this place, yeah? Uh, you might as well not bother, to be honest. Alright, that's la vista. Bye. Until next time. Ciao. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And uh, you have to see this place. Alright, bye.